if someone were to, like here, here's the thing if someone right pragmatically was to say to someone um look i'm going to be doing these terrible terrible things right just that don't try to stop me right well here's the thing with with people in general this isn't even just like an aot thing this is just how psychology works psychology works with the fact that you might not be lenient to tell someone sure but you might be more lenient to try to intervene or at least try to prevent something like that from happening just if you are a morally decent person which i do think mikasa is i think she is at least a morally a neutral person really you think so uh, yeah, oh no, I do. Hold on, let me just take. I think she oh, saw. Oh, you're gonna say she kills Jaegerus? Hold on. No, I just of course you know not. That... What? Are you... No, 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 <laughs> no. The okay. the person the person who after she saw Aaron killing a bunch of children, Levi kicks him. She wants to go and intervene and hurt Levi after he kicks a child killer. I think that's I think that's pretty uh, morally questionable. If you saw a bunch of people, if you saw a person killing a bunch of children and mothers. And then you saw a person going to hit that person, like the child killer, and then that person was going to go defend that child killer and already def made sure they got home safely in the airship. I think that's a more, pretty morally questionable person. No, I don't think so. She's defending a child killer. Play moral I, semantics I, all we want. I don't know why like, it's I not can... semantics. She's defending a child killer, and she made her sure he got home safely. She's We're talking about. Who are we talking about here? Samika says a pretty morally decent person, and I would disagree. No, no, no. I know that. I'm not. No, I know that. I'm talking about who in character are you referencing to with the child killer? Aaron. Aaron. Liberio or Libero. For declaration of war. When he when he manipulated the Sarah Corn to saving him, Sasha died. It was a big thing. Yeah, Armin oh. is a child killer, but we're talking about Mikasa. Yeah, Armin's. Yeah, I agree. Armin's also a bad person. In fact, Ar Armin's the one who said there's, no, there's no, really no such a thing as a good person because good people just do what you want them to do. Right. A as an example, like uh. Okay. 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 You know the reason why they did that, right? Did what? The why they were, why Mika still protecting Le Aaron? Le I know why Aaron did it, and I and I and I'm fine with that. But Mikasa obviously was unhappy with that, and Mikasa didn't think it was necessary. And neither did Armin, <laughs> as the chat so kindly pointed out. The difference between Armin is that Armin didn't go in to defend Levi after Levi tried to punish Aaron. And so that makes him a morally neutral person. Who? No, I think Armin's also a bad person. He's also a child killer. <laughs> I, I, they're all morally bad so people. What is, What's that? That that's what I meant morally neutral in the sense of AOT. In that's a sense, what I wasn't trying to get. So okay, so yes. they're morally neutral. They're you know morally that, no, most people in AOT, besides the civilians, I guess, are I evil know. people. The, the main the main people, I would say, not the main. You know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, they like the main not, characters. Yes, but I would say in the context of AOT, a morally bad person would be someone like Aaron, who would kill millions of people, including children, elderly people, everyone involved, animals, just... Hey, he was wildlife. fine before 131. Huh? He was fine. Forget they said that. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah. So, I would say in the context of Attack on Titan. Mikasa's now, if I was to say generally, if it was a general, I think most of the people are fucking mm -hmm. evil, psycho, psycho sociopathic, like pieces of shit. Yeah, I see. I see what you're I saying. Don't, yeah. I don't. I don't. When I'm here saying right that, oh, Aaron's a good, Aaron's a good protagonist. Aaron's whatever. I'm not saying he's a good person. Of course. Neither do I. Yeah. I see what you're saying. Yes, it makes sense. Okay. So. I was saying that, at least in the context of the situation, she is more so, like, morally, morally not as evil as, per se, we know Aaron to be. Of course. Right? Aaron's so, the most evil. Now, let's we could go back to the point that, mm -hmm. essentially, Aaron, if he would, if someone like Mikasa, who is at least that kind of realm in the AOT, she would most likely have the 
the instinctive to uh, to either a go with Aaron, which would what's it called? Well, not go with Aaron. My bad, because I don't think she would go with Aaron. Because I think Mikasa, even though she's very loyal to Aaron, like I'll backtrack on that because that is my mistake. Um, even though that she's loyal to Aaron, she's not really the type of person to uh, really let everyone die for the sake of Aaron. We see this really in. That's not yeah, what she told Annie. She's, she's a, that's not what she told who? Annie. Hmm? What, what, what chapter is that? That's a recon then. You wanna know why? That's What's... a recon? Because Please when tell she, me. even though she gets angry and mad, right? In season one, when she thinks Aaron dies, her fir even though she's letting out her anger on the Titans, her she still has, right? The tactician enough to try to save the remaining survivors. And try to make sure that Titans don't kill everybody, right? So, obviously, she thinks Aaron's dead. It's not like she's like, oh yeah, Aaron's alive. Like, okay, now, now, no, no. She, she thinks Aaron's dead. She goes off that belief. Sure, she lets out her anger on the Titans, but she still has that goal of protecting everyone. So, no, my question doesn't. is that her you goal think she worsen. Her goal was not was never to protect her or, or her primary goal. I think that was her goal. But the point was that her bigger goal was protecting Aaron. That was the, that was the biggest goal of all. And the t him, her killing Titans and protecting people did not, uh, did not interfere with her goal of protecting Aaron. In fact, it, it did the opposite, right? In fact, she said she said to uh, his sister, well, at that time, Krista. She said to Krista that uh, actually I think no, I think it was Astoria. At that time, she said that she would that she didn't care who was innocent who wasn't, that she, or, or whether or not Ymir was being coerced or forced into doing anything, she said that uh, that she would kill him. She didn't have enough heart strings left to pull on, she said. So, it, it, once we saw when, pe when, when innocent people or, or people who were being coerced into doing evil things got wrapped up, Mikasa quite clearly said that she did not give a crap and she would kill whoever she needed to kill to get Aaron back. Again... I just pro I brought up the contradiction. You haven't sufficed enough evidence to say. What contradiction? It. Well, here's the. There's I no contradiction. I season one. All you said was, okay, let's deny that, and then let's go on and see what Annie says. Annie. I'm saying that's a what? contradiction of her. What? I was talking about Mikasa. The entire speech was about Mikasa. But yes, no, I know. I'm saying the scene with Annie. No, that was in season two. Back. That was in season. What I just mentioned was in season two. No, you you said it was in one thirty. I did? I remember bringing up one thread. Well, anyway, if, if I did, I misspoke. I'm talking about the conversation he, she had with Annie, the conversation she had with Historia in Season 2. I, I'm talking... I'm talking. the uh, manga chapter? Uh, I think I... Mail. Yeah, hold on. It's... Let me think. Let me see if I can find it. Here it is. Yep. Okay, it's chapter... It's chapter... 48. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to find this on Google. Uh, actually, I'll, I'll... I'll just screenshot it from... Uh, Read us and care or something. Alright, chapter. By the way, if anyone wants an accurate online version, www.readusandk.com is the most accurate. Just an FYI. I'd like to ask you a question actually. Now that I think about it. Um What's up? If it's the case 
that Mikasa would sacrifice everyone for Aaron, then why would just why would she kill him? Agree. Why would why why were, was the words "I hate you" so fundamental to her, to the point that she decided to change her whole it analogy wasn't. on life and her viewpoint? It wasn't. It I was, really want to ask you that. I don't think I don't think this had an effect, that had much of a. I, well, I think it hurt her. I don't think it changed her actions or her beliefs. Oh, oh. oh so it didn't change that. Okay, that's great. Actually, I'm glad you agreed because now here's the problem. The <laughs> problem with that is that now you you, you don't make sense. The reason really? why is because. Yes, please because tell me. If Mikasa was to sacrifice everyone for that, then, then why not do it? She never went with it. She eventually went up against Aaron, right? Killed him. One thirty-eight. But yeah. yeah, yeah, right. But if she didn't change from that "I hate you" event, then why not just listen to Aaron or not try to intervene with the rumbling or anything like that? Because if she's so devoted to Aaron that she's willing to kill off everyone, right? Let's just say by your standards. I never said she was willing to kill everybody. Why not go with that? Go with what? What's what's? Why not go with that? With what? With the rumbling? But killing. Yeah. Why not? Why not ignore the rumbling and ignore trying to protect everyone that she's doing, protecting her friends, at the very least. Because she didn't like the rumbling. What, what do you mean? I don't understand what you're trying to ask me. Oh, but she's willing to sacrifice everyone for I never uh, said that. safety, right? Did I, did I say... I said it's... I said oh, it's, no, you did. Really? No, 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 no. Show you, me. You, show no, me. No, no, please show, show me. Show me? Oh, hold up. I got... Okay. I have an OBS recording. I could... I'm, and, um, do I'm not glad. Because I knew this was going to happen. If you... I think I won't send it to anyone. I could delete it in front of your screen right now. I will go back and, record, and uh, replay the part where you did say that Mikasa, right would sacrifice everything for Aaron. All right. Okay. So let me cancel my recording right now. Pretty sure I said let that she had a consistent pattern of killing people or doing bad things for Aaron. Not that she'd sacrifice. You, you'd sacrifice anything for Aaron. Obviously, yeah, no, yeah, we both, both read 138. Do you, honest, do, you, do you honestly think I'd say something that stupid when I read 138? Uh, well, you did, so... <laughs> right. I'm not saying you are stupid, I'm not even... I, yeah, I know, you have to defend yourself. You I think you're intelligent. Uh, I, I I'm, think, I'm just saying that's what you said. Okay, well, if I did say I'm that, I misspoke. saying here that... Because you, you were acting like that... Mika, you did not say you misspoke on that. You said that... I said if I didn't was willing to I'm sacrifice... I'm fairly certain I didn't say that. Sacrifice people. I'm fairly certain I didn't say that. You me. said she was willing to sacrifice people for Aaron's well-being. Yeah. And yeah. then you yeah. gave yes. the analogy yes. about the child, about... Yes. Yeah. That I agree with, yeah. Okay. I do agree so with that. So then, you didn't, did you put a limit on that? those amount of people? Well, I said they put a Who limit. Who are those people? Uh, I, a limit, not a limit. A limit? Yeah. Uh, I don't really know what entirely was going through Mikasa's mind, but I know that, that she was, she did not want to stop the, she didn't want to stop the rumbling at first, and she's a pattern of... What the hell? Okay, 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 okay. What the hell? Uh, or I'm about to get loud, Mikey, on the fucking clown. What pod, the okay. fuck was anyway. that? That must have been Racer AoE. Alright, anyway. No, I don't know when exactly she just but I think I but I know that she just that that, that the rumbling in its entirety is untenable to her. And um eventually she got the heart to stop it. Again, I don't fully understand 138, so I'm not even gonna touch 138. Because I haven't, okay. I haven't fully digested it yet, but um, and believe me, I tried to. But uh, so I, I don't know. I, I mean, I'd say that maybe I, my my half baked interpretation is that she got to live four years with Aaron, so that 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 four years was I don't know enough for her. Or she got her cake and eat it too. I, I don't really know. It's, it's half baked. So I don't really know. But it, it, as the, the closest thing I can come up to is that she got the she got the she got the uh, strength to kill him after she lived four years with him. That, that's all I can say. But again, it's half baked, and, and I don't really want to have a debate about a debate about it. But I knew that the rumbling was untenable to her. But she was perfectly fine sacrificing people for Aaron. Again, as shown in Liberia, where she saw hundreds of people getting slaughtered, p children. As she pointed out, cho she's pointing out, not us. We didn't. We observed. She. We know. She. We know that she knows she he killed oh. children, and he. She made sure he got brought home safely. Leo tried to punish him for it, and punish is a, is a really weak word to use because all he did was kick him, and she got angry about it and tried to defend him. So obviously she's willing to sacrifice lives, and I put something in debate talk 
as well, the conversation they were having. So, um, yeah, that, 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 that's my, those are my thoughts on Megasa. Well, you, the problem is here is that you contradicted yourself. When? And I'm not saying in what you just said, I'm just saying in the contradiction would be that you said that you're you're saying okay well Mikasa okay the rumbling okay that, that that's now that's 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 too vicious for her but earlier you were saying oh well she, yeah she's willing to sacrifice a lot of people or everyone you know mm -hmm. just just to protect Aaron so either or that's it's so that's a self contradiction so no it's if we're not. just gonna go off that it it is do you, you do not understand why it's a self contradiction I don't because I, all it says is that the rumbling was untenable to her. But as we know, okay. she was unwilling. No, the, the contradiction is that she's willing to sacrifice, but and that you gave one example of Liberio, but the rumbling, oh no, that's too much for her. That that's too much. It's for not her. as so simple as that. Her it's, this, this is the other thing. Why can't you just? Why can't you look at it with nuance? I said it was untenable to her. And again, we see that she's willing, even up to the campfire scene, which was why I brought up Annie, where she's not even willing to kill him, stop the rumbling, or she refuses to answer about the rumbling. Uh, about whether she's going to kill him or not. But slowly but surely, we see her come to terms with what she has to kill her. Now, again, I will fully admit, I don't know what exactly... I don't know what exactly changed her mind, or what exactly made her be so comfortable with killing him. So it's obviously hidden somewhere in 138, but that, that's the only thing. I say we get the entire thing figured out. We have a consistent pattern since Season 2 of Mikasa willing to let people die or sacrifice people for Eren's safety over and over and over again. And then we see, even during the rumbling tap, even during the rumbling is happening, um, even during the rumbling is happening, she's still unwilling or unwilling to say that she's going to kill Aaron or unwilling to kill Aaron. And then, as as the rumbling is continuing to happen, as she's seeing the results of the rumbling, or as she's getting to know that Aaron is so far gone, so to speak, then she decides it's okay to kill him. Okay, well, look, it's more nuanced than just that. oh she wants to kill she she's ready to sacrifice people for Aaron but oh no the Roma is too much for her it's it's more nuanced than that she's a she's not the best character in the world but she does have some complexity to her and because this <sighs> okay um again I. I really don't care if she's complex or not. The point of the issue, the problem with the point, I, I am fucking saying shit. The point of the issue is, is that A doesn't follow B. A is contradicted by B. Therefore, A cannot equal B. Okay. And what? And it, and for okay. anyone who's not understanding what I'm trying to say, is I'm basically just trying to say because I, I use that like debate lingo. Um, A equals B or X equals Y or like something like that, which just really means like premise can't or like conclusion, like evidence to this can't equal this conclusion or it contradicts some other evidence. Therefore, we cannot reach this conclusion that he's proposing or someone's proposing per se. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm trying to say for anyone yes. who is wondering. Um, yes, but to go off, I'm saying that the, we can't reach the a conclusion with that, and the problem with the the point you're trying to make is that we're trying to reach a definitive conclusion, at least by your merits here, that Aaron or my bad, Aaron cared about Mikasa, and you're saying in the romantic relationship. But the problem with this whole toll argument you're proposing, Beluga, is that all you're pointing out to me is instances of platonic and if it is romantic, then it would be, then it, con it gets contradicted by the fact of what we just referenced. So I would say because I have to, well, I don't have to go soon, but I do have to like. Oh gosh, you have to leave. Dad. Although I don't have to leave right now, I'm just saying, just in terms of, uh, I have to help my sister out. Um, Everyone's helping their sisters today. Okay. Oh, you already mentioned that. It's the same person. Okay, listen. Yeah. So okay, I'll. Uh, we can continue this later. Uh, if you want, I'm saying though, just as my conclusionary uh, point, right. that let me 
you have brought up only platonic things, and the romantic quote unquote that you brought up has been a contradiction. Has been contradicted. Okay, so are you leaving now? Cause I can give a closing statement. Or if you're not leaving now, I can. We can continue going back and forth. No, I'm not leaving right now. I'm not leaving right okay. now. I'll let other people talk. I'll just might have to go in like 10, okay. 15 minutes just to help my sister. Because I don't want to. The reason I want to end it here is because I don't want to just like leave you guys for like 25 minutes because I'm helping someone out and then I just okay. never come back. It just yeah, goes. I see. Okay, let me explain to you again. All right. Number one, you said you said you the whole A equals B. A can't, the premise that I'm making is that because I want to sacrifice people for Aaron, but then the rumbling is too much for her. So then it then it looks like that it, it doesn't work like that. Um, that to that counter, I would say, listen, when Annie says she's tired of fighting, and then she comes and starts fighting in 135, that's not a contradiction. That is simply character development, right? It does not have to be simply a contradiction of, 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 of premise. And that happened, mind you, that happened much, much, much quicker than the time that Mikasa, that the rumbling got started to when Mikasa got the strength to stop the rumbling. And the other thing, you mentioned the, the whole romantic thing. The, it's definitely, definitely not platonic because he was willing, and I'm not referencing 138 here because, again, I'm, I'm not going to go into 138. He quite clearly... No, it does not know whether Armin's gonna die, whether Sean's gonna die, whether Connie, whether Reiner's gonna die. He does know, or, or, or even he's gonna die, or the parody's gonna get invaded after. He does know, however, that um, Mikasa will survive, and that's the only thing he knows. And that's the only thing he goes off of, which in which that's, that's that's the 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 thing he's quote unquote drunk on to move forward. And the other thing, which which I which you said you would talk about later, so but I have to bring this out again, is that he says I don't want her to find another man. The, there is no possible way. I mean, I mean, there is a possible way you can say. I guess you, I guess you could say that, that it's not romantic, but that is almost certainly supposed to be platonic. I mean, not platonic, romantic. And the other thing, when has there ever been a uh, a, a declaration of romantic love in Attack on Titan? It, maybe I think Hans and Franna got said that they got married. I think Aaron brought that up. Uh, maybe Grisha, you could say, but there is no way that the, the Attack on Titan. It has these constant declarations of love over and over and over again. I mean, we have Falco. Fal all Falco says is, I like you to Gabby or something like that. Maybe, maybe he does say, I love you to, to Gabby. But, of course, you agree that Aaron loves Mikasa. So that would be a mute point. What I'm trying to say here, just, 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 I know I said a lot, but to, to sum it all up. Platonically, don't take that out of context. Do not take that out of context. Don't take what out of context? But I said, like, tonically, he loves Mikasa. I never said he romantically loves Mikasa. Yeah, I know. That's, that's, why, I'm that's why I'm talking. Okay. Yeah, to, to, to prove that he does romantically love Mikasa, which I, I don't know what the way this is a point of contention. He says, I don't want her fighting another man. There's, there's, I, and again, and again, and again, there's no way for Platonic because he loves, he loves Armin and John platonically, and maybe Reiner platonically, but there, but he, he knew for certain, he did not know whether they were going to die or not. He risked their lives, he gambled their lives, but he knew for certain that Mikasa was going to be alive. So, you, you can't say it's platonic. And again, and again, and again, and again. I know, I know you're going to bring this up. I don't want to keep slandering you. But he does say, I don't want her by another man. And again, my third point would be simply to say, there really is no, I love you. Oh, I love you so much too, in, in this. In fact, Franz and Hanna, who we, I think, I think we all agree that they loved each other, right? I'm pretty sure we all agree. They never, they, had, they used to have denied their love for each other. But we all know because we see signs, right? That, that, that's my point. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, that was very rambly, and that didn't really. Actually, Brenner does love Aaron. Okay, zero K. All old, right, sorry. But... I'll concise Besides it. My point. bad. If, if you want me to. Zero K is such a troll. Um. I mean, sure, but that's all of your topics you brought up. Not really pertaining to us. You're just kind of bringing other relationships, and that's all I'm going to say on that matter. What? Uh, yeah. Okay. Let me let me maybe make this really concise. Number one, Attack on Titan never really shows any lovey-dovey, uh, like, a real, real official uh, declarations of love. Number two, it was not platonic because he because he did not know whether Historia or Armor was going to was gonna live. So, obviously, it's on, it's, on, it's on a higher priority than platonic. Number two, we see him saying, number three, he, we see him saying he, that she does not want him to find another man. Those are my points for why Aaron loves Mikasa romantically. Okay. Yeah. I mean, at least I'll say this for myself. I feel like I provided sufficient proof that those were contradictions, or those were uh, blatant, just wrong, or at least out of context. So we can end the debate here. If you let, like, All right. Other people speak. Yeah, sure. Thank, thanks for coming on. Thanks for talking. Yeah, no problem. No Have a problem. good day. Have a good day, man.
I know KRS is trying to speak. Can someone let him in? Oh, you're chilling? Oh, I think Max Max Bonzo wants to get in. Oh, oh stop. You're inviting me to come and speak, bro. What I have you, nothing to What do you want? Holy fuck. <laughs> you left. You didn't want to speak anyways. I think Max Bro, Max Bonzo. I should, I should call him Max Bozo. <laughs> he wants to come in. Yeah, I don't think 139 is perfect. Nifel. There you are. Alright, what do you want, man? Huh? What do you want? Uh huh. Could be more friendly. Could you mm -hmm. be more friendly too, punk? Yeah, what's up? <laughs> Wait, what'd you say? I said you can be more friendly too, punk. Hmm. <laughs> It's just banter, calm down. We made him a long history <laughs> together. <laughs> what? Nothing. Now sort of tongue in cheek. Sort of. Alright, what's up? Come on. Alright, anyways though, I guess this is my first VC debate in a good like three or four years. It's gonna be pretty rusty. Mm. But I'm anyways, counting on it. So you think Huh? I said I'm counting on it. Not that I need you to be rusty. Uh, huh. Yeah. <laughs> so passive aggressive. Anyways, though. Uh, um, so you think 139 is, like, good? I have a hard time saying good, as I said beforehand. Uh, sometimes I'd say it's good. Uh, sometimes, depending on the mood, sometimes I'd say it's good if I watch a really good essay. Uh, my, new, my, my normal stance is, not, is to say sort of mediocre. I mean, I, I could call it good, but it's kind of hard for me to say good. I, I'd, I'd say this, just, as a, just to all make right, it very right, concise. Alright, dude, dude, dude. All right, calm down. You don't, you don't gotta ramble that much. Man, just you're, calm down. You're much nicer than what you right, appear I mean, to be like, Alright, just, just, just generally. I mean, it sounds like you just say uh, most of the time, mediocre. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. Definitely not Isayama level. That that's for sure. That's that is not what we were used to. Like uh, you know, someone else said before, it like just kind of it just kind of lands for you, not gracefully, but it lands. Um, uh, uh, I mean, I was just disappointed by how rushed it was because I mean, I cleared my entire schedule to watch this. I I I, I mean, not watch this. I, just, I, I I did everything. I went to the woods so, so, so I can have nothing, no thing around me, and then I felt sort of I, you know it wasn't intentional, but I felt sort of disrespected that my time was. It felt like, you know, a lot of Japanese people like to read their manga on the train. It felt like sort of that. Like, I was just, like, squeezing this in. I'm just in between work and going to read a manga chapter. It did not feel like the type of manga chapter that you would like to just clear everything and read. It felt like, okay, you have a short span of time. Okay, so, uh, yeah. All right, so you said that you were disappointed? I, of course, disappointed. Of course, disappointed. Who wouldn't be disappointed? What disappointed you? How rushed it was, how confusing it was, how it wasn't, you know, again, it's a Yama level. We were used to a certain, we're very spoiled. We we're used to a certain level of excellence. Take, take like literally any chapter before, before 133 or 135. We have like top tier master level chapters and we get 139. It's just, that was pretty sad. But I mean, I still, I still think we'll see the good in it, but uh, yeah. I mean, all right. All right. Well, I mean, I would kind of disagree on the peak writing point, but, um, but, uh, let's see. So it sounds like your initial read of it gave you a, like, bad interpretation of it. Like, you know, you, you, it seems like in your initial reading, you thought it was bad when you described it that way. Mm, I wouldn't say bad. I, 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 honestly, I gotta tell you the first, the very, very, the only, the very first, very first thing I thought when I first closed the book was just confusion i was too confused whether to be whether it was yeah. good or bad I'm, i mean well you know you say like you know disappointed rushed you know made you confused you didn't really put any like positive words in there i mean it sounds like it's leaning more towards the bad side 
Okay. Put it that way. I mean, I, I got some positive things to say, like the Ymir Fritz thing. That was I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, like what, what? What part was good? What part? I mean, you mean the one line of dialogue? Or <laughs> what do you mean? What well, do you... No, no. I mean, no. I mean, you say that the Ymir Fritz thing is good. Like, what? What exactly was good? The whole thing. I mean, it's one line of dialogue. Oh, but if we want to elaborate further, I'd say. The whole I mean you just mean like her you just mean like that one line of dialogue or like her whole like individual plot line I mean I'm just in her whole plot line the whole Mikasa thing like again I hated I absolutely hated Mikasa until 139 so I'm very happy just like, just like with Zeke right we, we all hated Zeke until the whole thing got revealed we all hated I mean I didn't but I, I assume you guys all hate the Warriors until right it got revealed oh uh, you said we all hated Zeke until what until the, his whole backstory came out, right? Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. So I mean, like, personally, I kind of hated him after that, but that's just me. Yeah, yeah, I can get behind that. Like, but I like, I like kind of deep, deep. I remember him was playing baseball with Falco. I wanted to kill him. I wanted to like reach into my book and kill him because I hated him so much. But then it made sense. Okay, that's why he's so nonchalant about killing people, right? That's why he's. That's why the way he's waiting. So I, I really appreciate his character, and I absolutely hated, hated, hated Megasa so much until uh, finally. Uh, 139 happened, it's like, oh, that's why Isayama wrote her the way he wrote her. Okay. That makes up for everything. That's why he wrote her. Like, so when you say that's why he wrote her, like, what, what do you mean? Are you are you talking about, like, the whole, like, oh, she was supposed to, like, kill him the whole time? Like, you know, that's what... I mean, of is course that what she, you're talking about? Of course she was. Mom what? Mom for why? Okay. I mean, well, if you can do I don't it? know. You just talked about Mikasa with the last guy. I'm not really going to bother talking I mean, about like, Mikasa. how she lacks development, as an example. Like, that. that's... A, that's a... Hmm. Like she uh, has... Well, yeah. I would say that her development is all over the place and very bad. It's very poor. I mean, it's very minimal. It's extremely, like, incremental. <laughs> I mean, it's just very small. Hmm. No, I mean, like, well, with the character development that she is supposedly given, it's like it's taken away, then given again, then it's uh, taken away once again right then and kind of, like, left that. Which I thought was, uh, I mean, I think that that was just kind of bad. It just had it all over the place for a character. I see. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I, I got a great I mean, debate that everyone gets so mad about, like, the last six pages. Oh, here's a good here's the thing that might, that might make you very angry. I think that the last six, I think, pretty sure the last six pages, the last six pages I thought were perfect. Eight, you mean? No, 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 because they, they split wait, it up. Wait, what? They split it up. They, are they, you talking about, are you talking about, like, the extra eight pages? They're or not extra. The stop, last? stop there. They're not extra. They're not extra. Okay? Please, stop saying that. But they didn't, he, he had eight pages, <laughs> and he split it up. He, Two in the middle of 139, well, not in the middle, but towards the end of 139, they put, they put six at the very, very end of 139. I think those pages are great. If, if, if MAPPA, honestly, I swear to you, if MAPPA just puts, those, it just, just puts pictures of those last six pages up on the screen, I'll be, ha I'll be, I'll be happy. I won't even care. I'll be happy. Oh, well. I think they're I perfect. Mean, so, yeah. I mean, uh, in a general sense that most people know it by, you are referring to what most people call the extra eight pages, right? I mean, you can call it, they're not really extra. You can call them extra eight pages if you want to. I, I just don't like that. It's called right, verbal well, engineering. I don't like to use right, that kind well, of... I mean, I don't, I don't need to go into semantics over it. I mean, that's just what people normally... Yeah, it is. It's it. disgusting. <laughs> okay, anyways. Um, well, with those extra eight pages, um... I'm sure you've lost I mean, I'm glad they happened. I mean, I don't really like it, but I'm glad it happened because it kind of, like, proved... It kind of, like, proved them all wrong. That's so funny you say that. Who were on the Alliance? Pretty much. Oh, the Jaegers. Alright. Hold on. I mean, it, it, proved, it proved the Alliance wrong. I mean, there's no, there's no way that it really proves the Jaeger is wrong. Oh, okay. Good to know. I'm going to get a charger, my 10%, and I'll come back and finish you later. Hold on a second. Like you're leaving, or you're just getting a charger? I'm just getting a charger. Oh, uh, okay. It's fucking 11 p.m. for me.
This is why I have more charge on my bed. Are you still there? Yeah. So, alright, perfect. We have something to talk about. You know, like, why don't you just have a charger in your room? I usually do have it in my office, but uh, I went upstairs to work, so it's up there. Uh huh. Yeah. Anyway, I think you're just saying something about how I said that. It kind of like proves the alliance I mean, that's, wrong, pretty that's much. That's why and I love that panel so much. I mean, because it proves, it honestly can be justifiably interpreted as proving both sides wrong. Although the the, the Jaegerists have a little bit less of an argument there. But not, uh, I don't see I don't see how that could prove the Jaegerists wrong. Like what? It kind of like proves them right. Pro proves what right? Like, you know, that Flux Aaron. says, like, you know, guys, if you do this, we're going to get destroyed, and that then Aaron. it happens. That Aaron mean, is... Oh, destroyed! Oh, so you're trying to prevent parody being destroyed? Of Wait. course, that's kind you're, of oh, you are? Okay. So, let me ask you a question. What, I, mean, that's, I mean, that's the point of the Aegris. The conditions for the war that started, what, what underlying conditions of the war got changed if 100% rumbling happens? Repeat that question? The underlying causes and conditions for the war that happened 2,000 years ago, which one of those conditions or causes get changed after 100% rumbling? The conditions of the war 2,000 years ago? Yep, the war's been going on for 2,000 years. Or 100 years, whatever. Wait, oh, you mean, oh, you mean like two... Are you, wait, which war are you talking about? Like the Eldens 2000? and Marlians. All right, just let's just stick with that. The Eldens and the Marlians. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, like, you know, the one that it, like, sort of has a soft start when the walls break down. That one. And whatever you interpret as Eldians fighting against Marlians. Because the, the, the Marlians always have an elf for the Eldians, and so does the rest of the world. Right. right. Well, yeah, I would call the official start, like soft start of that war like when the walls break down because, you know, they just kind of had a, the whole declaration of peace between them before that for a while. All right. So, okay. So I what? He's talking about the dark, I mean, the cycle of hatred. I honestly don't really care. Uh, it was like a, the cycle of hatred started way before that. But what? Mm -hmm. It started like 6,000 6, years ago. It doesn't matter. I'm asking, what underlying conditions or causes for the current war that we see in the Rumbling Arc, or War for Parody Arc, get changed if 100% Rumbling happens? Uh, the change that happens is that Marley doesn't exist. Yes, but what underlying causes or conditions get changed? Uh, the fact that there's no outside threat. The fact that there's no outside threat. Okay, so I, I yeah, suppose, that I, was like the whole point. I suppose you never heard of the Civil War before. Do you know what Civil War is? I mean, Civil Wars don't really matter though. That wasn't the point. You say the point was parody not to be destroyed at the beginning. Hmm. Yeah, you know, not okay. to get destroyed by the outside world. No, no, no. You didn't say that. You said to be destroyed. Oh, so well, parody yeah, being destroyed on the inside, to the that's totally fine. Parody being destroyed on the inside, that's totally fine. Okay, so you're saying that the Did hundred... Parody being destroyed on the inside, that's totally fine. I mean, that's kind of irrelevant, so I guess. Okay, 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 okay great. So, do you, do you have any kids? Do I have kids? Yeah. I mean, not yet. Not yet, okay. So if you did have a kid, and he gets killed in the Civil War, are you going to be like, oh... 
you know what? That's fine. It, it, it's, it's, it's irrelevant. It's a civil war. It doesn't really matter. At least they didn't like, quote unquote outsiders. Hmm. I mean, uh, if I agree with the side he was on, then it's just like, I mean, yeah. I mean, I could see myself dying in a civil war. No, no, your kid. Your kid dies in a civil war. You're, you're saying you're fine with that because it's a civil war? I mean, like, I'll, I'll be, like, a little sad because, like, obviously, like, it's my kid. But, you know, I mean, he's fine in a civil war. No, no, I mean, he's, just, he's both, a like, non-combatant. Oh, you mean, like, if he's, like, a civilian? Yeah. Just, you know, he's just standing there. That usually killed. happens in wars, yeah. Um, I mean, yeah. I mean, obviously, I'd be, like, pretty devastated. It'd be, like, you know, damn, like, he wasn't even like, the one or... But it'd be less but so because it's a civil fighting, war. I guess. But it'd be less, it'd be less because it's a civil war. Uh, repeat that. But, it, but you'd be less devastated since it's a civil war. Less devastated if it's a civil war. Yeah, you said you, you said you'd be less devastated since, since it's a civil war. I mean, that's not really something that I could. Answer. That's just such a broad, bizarre scenario. It's not a bizarre scenario. I know nothing close to. I'm asking. Okay. It, pa- okay. I mean, I've never lived through a civil war. Let me before. say this way: right. parents who have their kids killed in civil wars generally don't care that's a civil war. They just care that their kid is dead. <laughs> that's all that matters. And another question for you: You mentioned outsiders. At what point was Kosovo an, an outsider from Albania? Why are you bringing up a real life country? Can we like stick to AOT? No, no, no. We're bringing up real life countries because this is this is about this is supposed to be a parody for real life, obviously, or else or else the work has no meaning. <laughs> Wait, what are you talking about now? Kosovo. Is this what or what has no meaning? Or else the work has no. If it does not relate to the real world, then then the work has no meaning. If it doesn't relate to the real world, then the war has no meaning. Yeah. I don't see why. I mean, I mean that, that's I mean, my opinion. That, that you don't have to share my opinion. I mean, I, I, guess, I guess like you're saying, like how a story tries to uh, mimic or uh, intimate, in, like real life in some way. I or mean, something. we want realistic characters from our stories, don't we? I mean, yeah, sure. Okay. But, like, you know, we're talking about, like, what they're doing, like, actually in the story, not, like, something that's happening in real life. I simply asked you at what point Kosovo was an outsider from Albania. I mean, I don't know anything about Kosovo or Albania. Okay, what well, about uh, Israel and Palestine? What about Ukraine and Russia? When did those countries suddenly become separate? Uh, when did they become separate? Yeah, what well, was um, Ukraine uh, a separate like when countries? the Soviet Union disbanded, I'm pretty sure. Oh, so some paperwork... Hold on, so some paperwork suddenly made Russia an outsider. Uh, repeat that? <laughs> some paperwork all of a sudden made Ukraine an outsider from Russia. I mean, it was... I don't think it's just paperwork. I mean, no borders and all that reformed. No, the borders like were... Economic collapse and stuff. The borders were the same the year prior. In 1990, or I think it collapsed in 1991, but the, the year prior, they were the same country. And if Russia were to attack Ukraine, it would be a civil war. But then all of a sudden, the civil war happened, and then now it's not considered a civil war anymore. Uh, <laughs> you, you said something about what's considered a civil war and not made a civil right, war. Again. Like, wait, the what year prior... Like, what, what's the point here? The, the, well, I think you see my point here, and you're, you're trying that. Let me say this again, as clear as the honest can hear. The year before the Soviet Union dissolved, if Russia were to, do, to, were to be doing the exact same thing that they were doing today, it would be a civil war. But some paperwork happened. Now Russia is all, all of a sudden an outsider. So now Ukraine is being killed by, by outsiders. So... The whole concept of outsiders is really a fickle oh, thing. Oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. I get what you're saying. Now, like, my- you're trying, you're trying to, Whoa. you're trying to say something about how, like, no, 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 no. I get it. I get it. I get it. You're like trying to say like how there's more nuance. At some point, when they like expand territory, and then like you know they spread to other places, and then those countries probably like disband at some point and become separate countries, and then like come back to attack them. That's what you're saying, right? Well, I mean, it's more than that. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, uh, I'm not saying, but I'm not gonna, I'm not saying that the, that the racism or the prejudice wasn't fair, wasn't strong. I totally agree. The problem is that we have, we have, we have two things to consider. We have two things to consider. One, everyone came from one place. B, 
countries get drawn and redrawn all the time. The definition of outsider changes all the time, right? So no underlying conditions got changed for the war. The war has to happen again. There's nothing Aaron can do to prevent people to prepare to gain destroy, prepare to gain bomb, prepare to gain tax, from people from parody children dying, from parody combatants dying. There's nothing you can do to stop that. So I'm asking, I'm just asking you, what benefit would 100% rumbling? What, what, what would 100% rumbling do? Uh, yeah, I'm, all right. I mean, I guess I'll say it again. I mean, the benefit that happens is that they no longer have to worry about an outside world that's like a hundred years more advanced than them that can like come and kill them and destroy them at any time just because of like, you know, their like racial traits. So it's the, it's the, it's the fact that they're, that they're a hundred years behind the world? I mean, that's definitely I would agree a with you on big that contributing factor. I would totally agree with you on that. I would 100% agree with you on that. That is a big factor. And again, that's why my, my name is Blue with the Agers. That's why, I support, that's why I support the rumbling, because of that exact thing you said, right? But to say that, and, and you said that you proved the Jaegerist right, what, what exactly do you mean when you're right? Because I actually remember Flock acknowledging, and again, you may, you may disagree, because his fandom can't agree on anything, but I distinctly remember Flock acknowledging that this that parody would be at war again when Kiyomi mentioned it. So, uh, yeah, like, you know, like what she said, like, you know, there will still be fighting, it's just small or whatever. Yeah. And, you know, then he's just, then he's just like, oh, yeah, that's possible, but, like, it's possible. I mean, do you know what chapter that, that was? That doesn't matter, bro. Like, you know, j just fucking work on the boat. It's like, I think it says what's, what's, what's important is to know your place. Uh, now you can have your own interpretation, yeah. but I'm pretty sure he meant like parodies in a weaker place. There's two ways wars end. There's, there's one way wars end, which is with a peace negotiation, which Aaron could have absolutely done the second he started the rumbling. Yeah. The reason I mean, why um, the reason why it would I be mean, a bad every idea. country ever ends up having a civil war at some point. Of course, that's just how it goes. The, the funny thing is that the United States has fought in the greatest war in, of all time, and we, for some reason, I mean, reason, like, I don't see why a civil war matters. I mean, like, the point was never like civil wars. So the point was the point was simply to 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 not let outsiders kill you, but insiders killing you. That's perfectly fine. What? The point was to make it so that quote unquote outsiders don't kill you, but but insiders killing you perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. Uh, I mean, yeah, pretty much. I mean, like you know, so that's like, a, that's a, he that's... like says it. You know, gotta. When did Aaron say that? What? When did Aaron say that? Hmm? I don't remember him saying that. That parody, I mean, he's he's killing himself, really fine. I mean, obviously he's not. Obviously he's not going to say that word for word. He doesn't have to like be that that damn specific. But like you know, it's just like when he's talking to the story. He's mm -hmm. just like you know the. O only sure way to do this is Psycho. to like I think he said something about like bury burying yeah, civilization I know exactly and the about. hate along with it. And I and of course and of course that's the, what the funny thing is that the cycle of violence born paint started way before parody. He's talking exclusively about you know the outside world mm -hmm. that's uh, more advanced than them and hates them because of like the race thing pretty much and you yeah know, they aren't really gonna like change their mind and all that but stuff. But Aaron's ignoring that the cycle of violence will just start up all over again in parody. He's not gonna. Well, yeah, because this because the cycle of hatred he's referring to is paradise versus the world, not like the all he's violence to? ever. Huh? The he's, okay, so you're so <laughs> you're saying eighty percent rumbling isn't good because hundred percent rumbling makes it so that they not they're not killed for an extremely specific reason, quote unquote outsiders. Uh. Yeah, I mean, I mean, well, when you simplify it that way, I mean, I, I don't know why it's yeah. simplified. I mean, it's it, 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 you just told me Aaron wants to make it so that the that the quote unquote outside world can't attack him, but he does not solve the problem of the inside the quote unquote inside parody. They're saying something to civil war, and, well, that's, and that's what I was just well, yeah, because that. Because that was never his problem. His problem is the outside world versus paradise. You know, the ones that can like hate and easily oppress them and kill them. I mean, that's that's his threat. I mean, that's what he's worrying about. And that's what he's worrying about. And so, I, I, mean, I know from Aaron's perspective or perspective, that's what he's worrying about. But obviously, us sane, reasonable people know that that's that's a ridiculous thing to do. What well, what's ridiculous? Uh, because as I was going to say. 
we fought in the greatest war in human history, and somehow, some way, we have more than double the casualties in our own civil war. So from a patriot's perspective, like I'm assuming you're saying Aaron's a patriot, why would he be okay with a potentially more devastating war happening in his country than from the outside world? I mean, I don't really think anything is more devastating than the entire Allied world fleet coming to, like, completely wipe you off the map. The Allied fleet that Aaron destroyed in 130? Uh, yeah, he does destroy it. Yeah, okay. And then, uh, and then, and then later on down the line... What's that? I think it might cut out. Where Andre kind of like disbands the scouts, she's just like, yeah, what we're fighting for is the fact that we didn't get scouts at all. Damn, I was just about to go to sleep. Anyway, as I was saying, uh, Aaron, 
he all right uh oh just so you know i'll stay on like another like 15 minutes or so i gotta see mm, you're so much more docile than what you appear to be in chat i'll stay on like another like 15 minutes though all right listen uh, here's, here's, here's here's the other thing about aaron's plane hello hello hey can you hear me you can't hear me can, can, can everyone hear me hello hello hold on a second hello hey hello can you guys hear me you gotta do something about that internet what internet that was one time. I mean, like, you keep, you, you keep cutting out, and then, like, you were, like, going for, like, three minutes. Is this... Is this better? I mean, uh, I guess. Depends on if it ends up cutting out again or not. Oh, my God. All right. Listen. It, it, can you hear me? Yes, so I can hear you. All right, listen. Aaron does not change any of the conditions for the war start in the first place. He, you're saying he wants to be protected from quote unquote outsiders, which is stupid because again, as you mentioned, most countries have multiple civil wars and those wars are usually the longest wars that they have. And on top of that, and on top of that, on top of that, at what point do Marlians and Eldians become separate people? There's nothing stopping- Separate people? What do you mean separate people? I mean, what? what point? Uh, I, I mean, like you know, you Paradise and Marley are like two completely different countries. I mean, like, what do you mean, like? Well, I mean, they started separate. out in the same area. Remember, like, the, 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 the hmm? at what? I'm asking, at what point did they I become mean, what, separate? You're talking about like two thousand years ago. Well, what I'm saying is, I'm, I'm, yes, I'm bringing this up to say, what's stopping the Eldians from from separating from themselves again and starting a whole another thing, and then. Because when they're when the Eldians are killing the Marlians or when the Marlians are killing the Eldians, they're not thinking I'm killing my fellow human being. They're thinking, oh, I'm killing a different race. There's nothing from stopping the Eldians from killing other Eldians and saying the exact same thing. Nothing at all. Uh, well, yeah, actually, Marlians and Eldians are like completely different. Marlians can't turn into Titans. I mean, they, they Marlians don't have any of like the benefits that Aaron, uh, yeah, I agree. Aaron. Eldians do, like you know, when it when they had like when they had their genetics modified to be like immune to the bubonic plague. And all yeah. That stuff. Oh, I agree, but Aaron took that away. Took what away? The Titan thing from the aliens. Oh, oh, you mean like when he took the Titan curse away? Yeah. So, yeah, and of course that's, that that argument is in Genesis as well because people separate from themselves all hello? the time. Yeah. Hello, hello. I can still hear you. Hello? Hello? <laughs> oh, fuck, fucking Hello? It's fucking gone again. I'm not gone. Uh. I'm not gone. I'm still here. And, uh, he's out. Oh. <laughs> oh, my. So no. Alright, listen. Can you hear me? Yeah, hello? Try, try not to fucking get kicked out again. Alright. I, listen. What was I saying? Um, um, I think you, you, were saying, you were saying something about... Oh yeah, like, again, as, 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 anymore, as you said right? beforehand. Yeah, as it's beforehand. Albania and Kosovo. Those, those, those people were from the same country. They're generally the same race, but when Albanians kill Kosovo, when the Kosovo kills Albanians, or Serbians kill Albanians, it's it, or Serbia kill Ser, Serbians kill people from Kosovo. Whatever the, the situation is, it's perfectly fine. They're coming different, different, different country, different race. It's perfectly fine for them. They have no problem. But they're just from the same country, same what? What? I mean, not neither of them can turn into titans, though. Like again, I, as I as I said, neither can. The Mar the aliens anymore. Hey, right, well that's in the eighty percent universe. I mean, I'm talking about like one hundred percent. No, one hundred percent. The aliens can't turn to fans anymore. I don't know what the problem is with that. And again, as I as I said, that argument is generous because people will find ways to separate from separate themselves from other people all the time. As I just mentioned in Kosovo, as I just mentioned with Israel, you cannot you, just because they turn to fans does that mean it's just going to be peace and love? 
I'm sorry. And I again, mean, you can, I mean, you can you can find like genetic differences in some of these like different races, though, even if they have came from similar places, though. I mean, like with Albians, I mean, they are all like literally the exact same blood, and like there's no way that they're going to be like mixing with really? other Really, they're the exact same blood. Are all gone. Oh yeah. So so uh, Mika says the exact same as Aaron. Exact same blood. Uh, no. Okay, well, Mika's is an alien, so. <laughs> well, there, yeah, yeah. She's there you alien. go. I mean, she, she's like half Oriental, though. Yeah, it happens all the time. My parents are, are mixed. It happens all the time. <laughs> I, yeah, what about it? She, she's like literally like the only one. Yes, but she's the only one because because there's only because there's only one Asian left on the island. There's plenty of inner. Well, she's not even Asian. She's just half Asian. You know what I mean? Well, no, her mom is full Asian. There's only one Asian left, which would be her mom. On the island, and so um, yeah, I mean, she's dead though. That's an that's an indisputable fact. She said there's only one Asian left. Uh, it made me to do. There's yeah, oh, but what, what about it? She's dead. What I'm saying is that you said, oh, it's only pure elements, only pure blood. No, they mix a lot. In a one instance where they had just one one Asian person, now we have a mixed Asian, a mixed Eldian. I mean, so obviously, it, on the continent of Marley, there'd be a lot of mixing. Okay. And um, as I said beforehand, as I said Albania. beforehand, with Kosovo oh, no, and Albania no. or Serbia. Oh, all right. Let, let me let me finish what I'm saying about like Eldia. All right. I mean, on Eldia, like what we see is there is only you know. What do you mean, Eldia? Pure Eldians, and then there is like just one like half Asian. There. Because there's only one I Asian. Mean, just one, just one person. She isn't gonna make a, a single dent in their genetic gene pool, like at all. Oh, you understand what I'm saying? I'm saying the, I'm saying we only had one, one instance of a, of an Asian being another race. The entire thing was pure bloods, so to speak. I mean, and there's only yeah, one well, Asian, and that. Why does that matter? Well, well, yeah, yeah, I'm telling you why it matters because that that made it so that that, that she was around, then because his kids were around, so it means on mainland Marley. There'd be a lot of race mixing. So no, it's not just pure-blooded Eldians. It's not just one race untouched by anything. They're race mixing just like the Marlins are race mixing. Just, just like every other culture has been race mixing. Why, why, why does Marley race mixing matter for Eldia? Because I'm it's saying that human beings don't just mate with their own race. That's what I'm saying. So on mainland Marley, there's absolutely race mixing. And as I said beforehand, with the Serbs... They're they're okay. generally from um, the same. If, if all the other races are dead, though, then like, what other race are they gonna mix with? No, other races are dead. Oh, you're talking about after 100 percent rumbling. Yeah. You're asking. I mean, wait, hold on. Like, you know. Oh, okay. So you're saying you're saying the 100 percent rumbling eliminates prejudice. Um, I mean, it eliminates racial prejudice. No, it doesn't. That. <laughs> I okay. mean, they're all the same race. Yeah. Like literally all of them, and there is no other race. So, like, how would you have racial prejudice if they have no one else to race mix with, and they're all the exact same race? All the Orientals, as you just stated. Let's just say Mikas is the only. Let's say Mikas is the. Let's say Mikas is the only Oriental. No, the Eldians. Well, she's a half Oriental. Let's just say let's just say that she's the only one, only Eldian. That'd be after 100 percent rumbling. And again, I said prejudice, not racism. Pre racism is just one thing. Have you have you read that Das Kapital? Okay. Well, I mean, I'm talking about like racism though. Okay. Because that's so part that's that's like that's the main reason why they don't like Eldians. You know, they no. don't like their racial traits of turning into titans. They didn't like the fact that they were genocided, by and by and ethnically cleansed by the Eldians. That's what they didn't like. That's the yeah, main and beef. every time they talk bad about Eldians, they every single time they always bring up the fact that they can turn into Titans. Mm -hmm. Which is a, a pretext, you, you understand. Or, or maybe you didn't understand that. But it doesn't really matter. Because again, I'm asking you, would the rumbling eliminate prejudice? Uh, <laughs> oh, did you like mute yourself? My God. <laughs> I have enemies here, it doesn't matter. I have I have mad enemies here. Okay, listen. I did not mean myself, but listen. Yeah, bro. Comcast is your enemy. They, they they don't like you. Yeah, I know. Listen, it does not eliminate prejudice, as I said, which means 
that does not eliminate the 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 the, the underlying the underlying conditions for war. And here's another funny thing. Here's a funny, very funny thing. The Holocaust, right? Would you say that, that was racially motivated? Listen, no, just listen, listen, listen. Would you say the Holocaust was ra racially motivated? Uh, mostly, sure. Of course yeah. it was. Okay, now, 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 think of all the communist genocides. Were those race was those, Were those racially motivated? I mean, uh, some. You know, discrimination against certain. Switch your service provider. Okay, so the communist genocides. The co Hello. Hello. These fucking people, I swear. trying to wave back in. I guess I'll just wait until he comes here and I'll just tell him to be like continue with like some other day or something. Like, it's just... Hey, listen, I invited you to, uh, can you, can you just call me directly? Uh, um, well, actually, but we're gonna, I mean, I think it's like cool with the audience. I mean, I think it would be better if we just continue this a different day after you like switch your service provider or something. It, I keep getting kicked out. It's not my service provider. I keep getting muted and kicked out. Do not blame my service provider. You said you're getting kicked out? Yes, and muted. This has not been the first time. Don't don't go there to my service provider. You think just because I'm black, I'm poor? Are you serious? <laughs> 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 no, but seriously, I'm getting kicked out, for real. But listen, let me just wrap this up real quick. Anyway, let, me just, let me just wrap this up extremely quickly. Listen, the biggest genocides okay. in human history have not even been racially motivated. They've been economically motivated. So, Aaron getting rid of racism is... Is very very small to his goals of securing Perry's future. As 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 you would say, if he's a patriot, he would be trying to get rid of different factors. That's my closing statement. Mm -hmm. All right, can can we just continue this another day? Sure. Uh, it's almost midnight. Sure. I no problem. Thanks for coming on. You're much more docile than you appear to be in the chat. What did you say? You're much more docile than you appear to be in the chat. I mean, of course. I mean, I just, I just like a lot of banks here in Texas. It's fun. I see. Yeah. I mean, obviously, I'm gonna be more professional if I'm actually here, like being the one that's talking to you one on one. Though. I had no that's idea. I, I did not have any idea. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I think it's pretty normal for most people to act different, like when they're actually talking and texting. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, though, uh, you really continue this like tomorrow or something? Uh, I might have time tomorrow. Yeah, I might have time tomorrow. Okay. Hopefully, it's not near midnight next time. Really? Do you have like school or something? I mean, no. I just like getting good sleep. <laughs> good man. Okay. Yeah, I was trying to do it earlier, I guess. Maybe when the babies are in bed. Alright. Well, uh, bye. Nice talking to you. Make sure to put the results in the results uh, hashtag. Also, who keeps kicking me and banning me? I'm sure it's race to AOE.
Racer AoE. That guy's a, a punk, I swear. I know it's not you. You're chill. It's Racer AoE. He's the, he's the bastard doing it. Racer AoE. What a man you are. I don't understand what everyone mocks it. That was so sweet. Like, just, just, like, not, not even, like, in the bait sense. Like, I don't want to talk about it. Just, how did no one find that sweet? Honestly. Like, you really looked at that and said, man, this is a, this is a, this is a, this is not a good moment. I thought that was such a great moment. But, yeah, Racer AoE, you're an absolute bastard, I swear. I used to like you too. I saw you on Reddit. I saw a couple of posts. I was like, yeah, he has great posts. You're just not the best person in the world. Let's just put it that way. Oh, yeah, you mute me because I'm talking about politics. Okay. Yeah. 